Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. It's the Weather Extreme video for Wednesday, the 21st day of December. Christmas time is here. Rain is here. Clouds are here. If you're looking for sun, you can forget about that for a while. Let's go to some of the sky cam shots around the network this morning. It's a story of low clouds and fog. That's uh, the uh, downtown Birmingham sky cam. Big buildings basically in the clouds early this morning. Mount Chiha Garantia, they are in the clouds. That's Alabama's highest mountain south of Anniston. Elevation up there at 2,400 feet. And there's the uh, sky cam up in Walker County at Parrish, south of Jasper, where rain is falling. It's the parade of waves coming out of the southwest. One is lifting north of us this morning. Another one uh, digging down through the southwest. And a third one will come out of there and produce rain over the Christmas weekend. And like we've talked about, it might be Monday of next week before you see a decent amount of sun. There's the radar at 504 this morning. You can see a little band of heavier showers from uh, Jasper down to about Coker and Gainesville in West Alabama. A few scattered showers other than that. And it'll be a showery day. No severe weather, nothing overly heavy today. There's the watch warning map around the nation. Got uh, winter weather problems again out west. And they've just been hammered out in New Mexico, the mountains out there. Another storm lifting out of the southwest with more snow there. But, of course, we're going to stay in the warm sector. This is the convective outlook today. Low end severe weather probabilities north and south of here. But tomorrow, this catches our eye. The standard slight risk from Birmingham and Cullman, Decatur, Muscle Shoals, down through places like Fayette, Jasper, Tuscaloosa, York, Livingston, back into Mississippi and Louisiana. It's not a classic setup, of course, but uh, no doubt there could be some strong storms tomorrow as the timing uh, looks pretty good. The instability will be there for that. We'll take a look at the specifics in a moment. There's the rain for the next five days. Uh, this is valid through the weekend, through Sunday evening at 6 o'clock, and it's going to be a good soaker. We're expecting rain amounts between 2 and 3 inches here over the next five days. We'll go into model country. This is the 06Z GFS, the global forecast system at noon today. You can see one wave lifting north of us, another one uh, back over the southwest, a third one over the northwest. But that lead wave produces rain at times, mainly this morning. We'll probably see a break in the rain to some degree this afternoon and tonight, although even then there could be a few showers around. All right, tomorrow, here comes the next wave. You can see over Texas and Oklahoma, the third one is back over the four corners. And down below that, rain increases again. And that'll be moving in here tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. We'll take a look at the RPM. This is 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Boy, look at that. Uh, the model is suggesting strong convection, uh, basically along I-65 from Birmingham all the way down to Mobile. And again, that uh, kind of correlates with that uh, slight risk. And then uh, tomorrow night at midnight, it's all over. So maybe the main window for rain tomorrow, probably late morning through maybe 8 or 9 o'clock at night, something like that. There's the instability. This is at... Uh, Let's see, 20Z, that is 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. We note uh, uh, the instability ramps up to about 1,500 joules down in southwest Alabama with the amounts over 1,000 joules up this way. So, again, clearly that would support some strong storms, and there is a pretty decent degree of low-level helicity. This is uh, valid tomorrow at noon, and this is the low-level helicity, 0 to 1 kilometers, and uh, those numbers are pretty significant. And look at that now. This is the STP, the significant tornado parameter. Now, keep in mind that thing maxed out at 10 back on April 27th, and this is showing numbers of about 2 to 2.5. Uh, but that is very significant. I mean, you know, we, we, that was a generational event. And again, you can see that axis lined up from Huntsville down to about Tuscaloosa. So I think no doubt we might have a problem with some severe weather in here tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. So just keep that in mind. Uh, there's the uh, supercell composite, pretty much the same type setup there. So we'll be watching for storms tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening with hail, gusty winds, and there might be an isolated tornado in there. Keep in mind, this is the fall tornado season. All right, Friday, that's on by. That'll be a day where maybe we just get a break in the rain. Uh, we'll mention a slight chance of a stray shower. Uh, I don't know if we see a lot of sun, maybe a few peaks of sun, but the sky should be mostly cloudy. 
And then Saturday, here comes the next wave for the Christmas weekend. This is Christmas Eve at noon. Uh, down below that, there's the new batch of rain to the southwest. We'll go to Saturday night at midnight when old St. Nick is making the rounds. Alabama looks wet. The GFS is finally catching on to this. And then Sunday, Christmas Day at noon, the rain is on to the east. The European is similar. This is uh, midday Saturday, Saturday at uh, noon. Saturday night at midnight, we're getting soaked. And Christmas Day, Sunday at noon, the rain is winding down. So it looks like the uh, main window for rain will be uh, late Saturday afternoon, Saturday night into uh, Sunday morning. And Monday, finally, a chance we'll see the sun. Tuesday of next week, instead of turning us wet again, now this run has us dry. And even Wednesday of next week looks dry. So after a long, long period of wet weather, it looks like a chance of drying out for three days early next week. We'll check uh, New Year's Day. Uh, this is Sunday, 1112. No cold air with that look. Down below, that would be dry and pleasant. And the end of the forecast on the 5th of January. Again, no cold air. A little uh, upper low to the south. That looks wet, but of course, this is voodoo. Whether that happens or not, we don't know. But there's the pattern. That's the NAO, and that's the chart everybody's watching, the bottom chart. Uh, if you want cold air, you need those bars to go below that zero line, go negative, and it's just not happening. And as long as the NAO stays positive, it's going to be hard to get any really cold air down, uh, severely cold down down here, <laughs> cold air down here for any length of time. So, but we'll keep an eye on that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.